All right, guys and girls. So now we have learned how to retrieve all our data from the database using very basic keywords, select from. As a next, we need to learn how to filter our data using where clause, because in real world scenarios, you are not interested in all records in the tables. So usually you will be interested in only the rows that fulfilling a certain condition. For example, we don't need all the customers and the results. We need only the customers that come from certain country or have like specific score. So in order to understand that, let's check a very simple task. So the task says list only German customers. So that means we are not interested in all customers. We need to see in the results only the customers that comes from Germany. Okay, so now let's try to figure out how we're gonna solve this task using a SQL query. In the task, we will be focusing on the customers. That means we will be querying the customers table. And since there is no specifications about the columns, we could go and retrieve all the columns. So let's try to write now the SQL statement for that. So select as usual, then no specifications about the columns. We're gonna select everything we use star. From our table is customers. And let's run this and see, as usual, we have all the data, all the customers from Germany, from USA, UK, and so on. But the task says only the German customers. That means we have to do some filters now. In order to do that, we're gonna use the where clause. And usually we put it immediately after from. All right, so now we need to write down the keyword where. After the where, we need to specify our condition. The condition should be based on the countries. That means country should be equal to Germany. So we write down now the column name country, equal operator, and now here we need to enter the value that is exactly like it's written inside the database, Germany, like this. So we write down Germany. So let's start now the execution and see the result. As you can see, we don't have all the customers. We have only two customers that fulfill this condition. Maria and Martin. Other customers like John, George, and Peter, they all don't fulfill the condition and they are excluded from the results. All right, so as you can see, SQL is pretty easy to write and read. Like, check this, select all columns from customers where the customer's country should be equal to Germany. So it's really easy to read. It's using English words and in the logical order. Okay, let's have now another quick task. It says, select customers whose score is greater than 500. So it's based on the same table. So we will not change here a lot of stuff. The only part that's changed is the condition. So now we're gonna remove this here. Our condition here is based on the score. So we have the column score. The operator is not anymore equal, it should be greater, so we need another operator. And the value is 500. So we write down here 500, let's execute that. And now we can see the customers whose score is greater than 500. As you can see, it's pretty easy to use the WHERE statement. All right, so now in order to understand the WHERE clause, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step what the database is doing once we execute our query. So the database is gonna check which table. So it's gonna focus on the customers. Then it's gonna check which columns do we need. As we write down the star, that means the database is gonna select all the columns and their results. But then the database is gonna check, okay, there is filter. That means not all the data should be in the results. So it's gonna check it. So now the first three chords is gonna check the score over here. The score is 350. That means it is not greater than 500. It will not include it in the result. The next one is greater than 500. That means it's gonna take it. The next customer, the same, fulfill the condition. Oops, I need to write it down over here. All right, now the first customer, 500, it is not greater or equal. It's only greater than 500. That means it will not consider it. And the last one, it's null. That means it's empty. It will not fulfill the condition. That means we have only two customers and that's how 
where is working inside the database all right guys so in sql there is many different types of operators that you could use inside the where clouds in order to filter your data and in sql they are split into two groups on the left side we have the comparison operators and on the right side we have the logical operators the comparison operators you could use it in order to compare two values for example we have the equal not equal greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to the logical operators you could use it once you want to combine two different conditions and as a result you're going to get true or false for example we have and operator it returns true if both of the conditions are true we have or return true if one of the conditions is true. Then we have not, in, between, like, and so on. So in the previous examples in the where clause, I showed you two conversion operator. It was the equal and greater than. So as a next, I'm going to go through all of them in order to show you how you could use them inside the query and some examples so you don't worry about it. All right, so that was it for the where clause. Next, we're going to talk about the comparison operators. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.